it is day 15. Um, it's, it's definitely why some, you know, triggers it back to an eating disorder from the beginning of this with the fasting, but working that out because the, and I say that yes, and this is, it's made me worse than ever before because I haven't purged, um, from eating since I was like, we're like talking decades. Um, but I'm working through this to see uh, like what, okay, physically what it's doing to my body, but I'm also, I'm so unwell in so many areas. Um, and I, I have tried every avenue of help for the record. So if anyone has said that for me in my life, help was the danger counseling all of, I've, I've done everything even I've, I'm at the point where I've you know there's there is no help when people think there's help there's no help I can say that because I've exhausted every option I actually have that's why I'm in this situation as desperate as I am and it's why I'm getting worse trying to get better trying to figure this out on my own help was the danger for me and then I finally came back around to finding some, you know, help with these women's shelters, these things of this, that. There's just not enough services and, you know, you get canceled on, you get this, you get that. I also have to be so cautious. You say the wrong things. That's exactly why I was wrongfully locked up and taken away. And then mistreated. So I'm so careful on what I say and that's why because I can't speak properly about what's happening and why I'm so ill and if I can't get out of this situation I don't know and that's why I don't I don't know what's going to kill me first and I mean myself because the depression's taking over too much